Hello children. Hi Kavleen. Hi Pranay and Yash. And Kavya. Hello Radhya. Hello. Hi Vijual. Hello. Welcome to your EVS class. Pranay and Yash. Where is Bhagya? Where is Bhagya? Hi Shrijan. Welcome to your EVS class. So children, today is date is 19th November 2020 and today is Thursday. Today I am going to start a new chapter from your EVS textbook. Okay, new chapter from your EVS textbook. The name of the chapter is chapter 14 from EVS. Places near my home. Places near my home. Home. Hi, Madha. Welcome to your EVS class. Today's password is places. First, let me tell you the page number. Page number 56 in your EVS textbook. Page number 56. Page number 56 in your EVS textbook. Hi, Vivan. Welcome to your EVS class. Today's password is places. Why did I take this password? I will let you know why did I take this password. <clears throat> First, let us understand the meaning of this chapter. Okay? Places near my home. P-L-A-C-E-S. Places. N-E-R. Near. M-Y. My. H-O-M-E. Home. Because today's chapter, the word places is there, I have taken password as places. Well, coming to the name of this chapter, I hope you all know the meaning of places. Children, where did we come across this word places? Tell me. Where? Where? You already know the meaning of places, right? How do you know? Where did we do? Hi, Bhagya. Welcome to your EVS class. Where did we do? Tell me. Places. Who will tell me? Vivan, Madhav, Srijan, Vijual. Who will tell me? Pranay, Yash. Places. What are places? What are places? Around us. You, you have learned about places. I'm asking you, you have learned about places, right? So, where? Before we... Uh, yes, I'm not asking you about the names of places. Okay, I'm asking you. Already we learned about the places where? In which chapter? In first chapter of your grammar. Nouns, naming words, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are giving me the examples of all places. Right? And Taj Mahal is not a place. Taj Mahal is not a place. Taj Mahal is a monument. It is a thing. Yes, in nouns. We learnt about the word places in our previous classes and in our English grammar class in the chapter naming words. Right? Let's go back. Go back to the month of April. Okay. Let's go back to the month of April. There we have learned about places. In this chapter naming words. So what are places? What are places? Now tell me the examples of places. Examples of places. First one. Home is a place. Right? Home is a place where we live in. Right? Then Park is a place where we play. Then school is a place where we go and study. Right? Then hospital is a place where we go when we fall sick. Right? So hospital is a place. Then what else? 
a shop a shop is also a place where we go to buy things to buy necessary things a post office is a place a bank is a place a market is a place yes we have shops in market m a r k e t market so market is a place so all these are examples of places right is anything new here you tell me children is anything new here a temple is also a place where we go and do worship oh let me write temple also temple is also a place t m p l e temple hmm. so all these are names of places right no this answer no is for what for which question you are saying no aradhya home park school hospital market and temple all these are examples of places so next what is the next word near what is the meaning of near near pass me right pass and my home my home my place home is a place where we live so places near my home so this chapter is about places near my home places jo hamara ghar ke aas paas mein hai we are going to study about the places near my home okay so here are some places home park school hospital market and temple now these places places near my home this completely we will give one word for all these words that is neighborhood n e i g h b o u r neighbor h o o d hood neighborhood neighborhood is this is a single spelling neighborhood such a long spelling okay which means places near my home so one word for everything is neighborhood so tell me what is neighborhood neighborhood matlab a place which is around our home a place which is around our home this is our home right so if we have a park near our home it means we have a park in our neighborhood if we have a school near our home it means we have a school in our neighborhood if we have a hospital near our home it means we have a hospital in our neighborhood if there is a market near our home it means there is a market in our neighborhood if there is a temple near my home it means we have a temple in our neighborhood okay so this one word neighborhood means the place which surrounds our home okay so ma'am what do you mean by a place which surrounds our home so for example you want to go to a park to play then it should be in the walkable distance ghar se aapko jana hai park kaise jana hai aapko sirf pedal jana hai you must just go by walk you don't any vehicle it could be an auto or you don't have to climb by bus or you don't have to request your parents to drop you to a place okay something which is in a walkable distance to your home ghar ke paas hai park so you can just come out of your home just take a walk little walk and park will come you just come out of your home and easily by a little walk a school will come just come out of your home 
if you just walk a little distance hospital will come again come out of your home if you just walk a little your market has come and again you come out of your home if you just walk bas aapko paidal jana hai then you get a temple so the place is which you can visit just by taking a little walk bas paidal jana hai okay that means it is in your neighborhood aas paas mein hai okay you don't have to climb by an auto you don't have to climb by bus you don't have to take your cycle you don't have to uh, request your parents to drop them either by bike or car something which you can visit by taking a little walk okay so th this means places near my home so neighborhood should be in such a manner neighborhood should be in such a manner which provides all kind of services to us i am repeating neighborhood should be in such a manner which can provide all kind of services like park you go to park and play for enjoyment hi dhruv jain thank you welcome to my class good morning but dhruv i am taking class for first standard this is evs class okay you want to stay and listen you can or if you want to leave the group you can leave the group and home uh, where am i park right so a neighborhood should be in such a manner where it can provide all kind of services to us so park is a place we go to enjoy there okay a kind of entertainment so entertainment enjoyment service school for the purpose of education we are going for the purpose of learning so school for giving overall development hospital for providing medical services why do we go to hospital when we fall sick we go to hospital right so in our neighborhood we need to have even a hospital which can provide us medical services in emergency emergency ho jata hai then we need to have hospital in our neighborhood we need to have market where we can have a fruit shop a vegetable shop ice cream shop <laughs> aradhya yes khasi jukam then run to hospital we need to have a hospital in our neighborhood shops vegetable shop fruit shop ice cream parlor uh, then some uh, what else ha huh. shop for uh, ladies where we get cosmetics and all so it is good that there, there is a market place in our neighborhood a temple is also important temple is also important because we do celebrate many festivals and on many occasions like birthdays and uh, weddings and on anniversaries we do visit temples right to worship idols so a temple should be there anything it can be any religious place a mosque can be there a temple can be there a church can be there any religious place if it is there in the neighborhood then we can have the benefit of that also so all these are important places in the neighborhood a neighborhood is called a good neighborhood when it can provide all kinds of services and coming to your textbook some extra uh, uh, like uh, places are also given like bank is given bank okay post office is given post office bank what else is given post office bank yes police station is given fire station is given police station 
fire station fire station c all these are given apart from school and hospital all these bank post office police station fire station are also very important places we need to have in our neighborhood so in the next class we will discuss about each of these important places in detailed manner okay children so with a little introduction about the places near my home and the neighborhood and important places that we should have neighborhood today i want to end my class and before i leave the class i want to tell you that i am happy that i have received the answers of worksheets from kavleen nirbhay yash ambar pranay avnur madhav anahita and kavya and one side i am happy other side i am sad also because you know both the sections put together total strength of a and b first a and b is 54 Out of which I have received only nine. It means what about the rest forty-five? What about the rest forty-five? And okay, out of forty-five, ten parents are busy working. They are in their workplaces. So at least I should receive thirty-five. Out of thirty-five, if ten are villagers and don't have access to internet. at least i should receive 25 worksheets at least out of 25 10 parents are busy in busy in celebrating festivals busy in marriages and other occasions at least i should receive 15 which is our standard strength 15 always i find here 15 this is the number at least i should get but i am very said that i have received only 9 so please parents please do send me the answers of the worksheet this is my request so meet you again i don't have class tomorrow any ma'am will be taking gk so i don't have your class tomorrow so meet you on monday okay children until then take care tata Bye bye Bye